welcome back to Keto Treat Day with the Keto Treat Gal. Coming at you this week with a sweet treat, homemade cookies. Another recipe I get to add to my book for my treats. I'm excited. And I'm going to call these creamed almond cookies. And the reason I'm going to call them that is because they are made with cream cheese and almonds. Now, I could just call them cream cheese and almond cookies, but what fun would that be? I want them to sound really good because I imagine they're going to be really good. So creamed almond cookies. And there's only six ingredients to the recipe. You're going to see a slideshow, exactly how to make it, the temp, all of that. The prep time was 10 minutes, six ingredients. I believe I cooked it at 325 or 350. I can't remember that. That you'll see in the slideshow. But I do know I cooked them for 16 minutes. It's 16 to 18 minutes for the cookies. Mine did cook in 16 minutes. And the ingredients is really easy um, for what you will need. It was almond flour, stevia, butter, cream cheese, almonds, and vanilla extract. It took 10 minutes for the prep time, you guys. Super easy. I mixed it with a fork. It was so easy to mix it up, and it, it made such a great dough. And then I rolled it into balls, flattened it down to about a half inch, and put it on a greased cookie sheet, just a little bit of, um, uh, gosh, I just lost train of thought, a little bit of olive oil. Um, vanilla, um, extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit down, just so they didn't stick to the pan, unless you have a non-stick pan or one of those rubber mats or whatever to cook it on. I just did, just in case they stuck, I didn't want them to stick. But yeah, I'm excited. I am a cream cheese lover. If you guys have been following me or are new to my channel, I love anything cream cheese. I was a big cheesecake lover, so I've made lots of recipes in my treat video, in my playlist. Look under that and you'll see I've made lots of different desserts with cheese or cream cheese so like a cheesecake mousse um i made uh cheesecake bites i believe i've done a lot with with cream cheese because i love cream cheese so much so i imagine these are going to be really good now i did a recipe one time of butter cookies and they turned out great i imagine these are going to be similar except for they're going to have cream cheese in them and almonds it wasn't the the same recipe at all the butter cookie recipe was completely different from this but they smell kind of like them they kind of look like them I just know they're going to be great because of the cream cheese in them. And then my butter cookies, I didn't do with almond flour either. I can't remember those. They're in my playlist. And just look up butter cookies. Just can't remember exactly what I used for that. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited about these, you guys. Creamed almond cookies. And I love when I can bring you a new recipe. New recipe for my book. Exciting about that. Or excited about that. I am working on that. You know, it just takes time. When you're working on a cookbook trying to get everything right, everything written right, so it's easy for you guys and all that. It takes time, and then you got to find a publisher. And I'm sure I'm going to get one because when you look up or find keto books, like recipe books, they're really like a lot to the recipe. And you guys all know that I make my recipes quick, easy, and simple. A lot of them are also cheap and inexpensive. So, yeah, I'm excited about these cookies here. They smell so good. And it happens to be my eating day because I alternate day fast. So sometimes when I do a treat, I can't show you, I can't eat them on there, but then I would have already tried it to tell you how they are. These I have not yet because I get to eat them today. So I'm excited about that. Let's dig in, you guys, and try one. First off, I'll show you the plate up close. Look at how beautiful they look. Um, it is best, I'm finding out too, because they they're were soft when I pulled them out. So I'm finding it's best to wait about 20 minutes before you dig into them because they were pretty soft, you know, when I first, I wanted to lift it a little bit just to see if they were golden brown on the bottom and they are very nice and golden brown on the bottom within 16 minutes they cooked, but they were really soft. So I knew that they needed to cool for a while. So at least, at least 20 minutes, you guys, at least 20 minutes. This has already been 20 minutes and they're still a little bit warm. So at least 20 minutes, if you can wait even longer, it would be even better. But yeah, let's dig in. Let's try one. Oh, and they're only one and a half carbs a piece. It made 12 cookies. That recipe made 12 cookies. So if you want, need to make more cookies, you would double the recipe, quadruple, however you need, however cookies, however many cookies you need to take with you to a party. These would be great for a party. But you see they're nice and thick and they're soft like I can feel them. Nice golden brown on the bottom. They turned out perfect. I can't wait to taste them. But perfect you know to bring to a party like I keep saying there's so many things in the summer so many barbecues and parties and weddings and you know you want to help everybody you want to help the world eat healthy where the if they eat one of these it's only a carb and a half and I'm guaranteeing these are going to be good so let's try one before I keep going mm. 
Mmm. Oh, my God, you guys. Wow. These are nothing like my butter cookies. I thought they were going to be like a butter cookie. Nope. Definitely has the butter taste because of the butter in it, but it's got that cream cheese taste, like a tart, creamy, buttery. Oh, my God, they're good. Look at the inside, how soft and beautiful those look. Oh, my gosh, don't those look good, you guys? Oh, I just want to give you one. They're so good. Mmm, mmm, that center. Oh, and the almonds really did it. Wow. Love the taste of that cream cheese and the almond together. Oh my God, these are fabulous. Oh my God, you guys definitely need to make these. Please, please make these. You are going to freak when you taste these. If you are a person that loves cream cheese, you love a soft cookie, you love a buttery, creamy cookie, right here. And if you can't have almonds, some people are allergic to nuts and can't have them, then just do it without the almonds. Same recipe, just don't add the almonds. But oh my God, I'm going to have one more because I'm pretty low on calories today anyways. It is my eating day. I'm going to have another one. That's how good they are. Oh my God. Mmm. I can't even describe it. It's like, seriously, a real cookie. Like you would never assume this was low carb. You would never assume that there isn't real sugar in this. It's stevia. And we all know we can have stevia on keto. Oh my God, you guys, these are so good. Look at the centers again. They are so soft. It's like almost like a cake cookie. Oh, mm. like, I don't know, kind of doughy in the middle. It's hard to describe, but oh my God, these are good. Mmm. Oh, creamy and delicious. I don't know a person around that wouldn't like these. I, I don't. Unless you don't like cream cheese. Oh my God, it's so easy to make. Wow, these are good. But how fast can carbs add up? That was three carbs right there. And we only get 20 in a day. So be careful because these are delicious. Oh my gosh, I could eat this whole plate. Well, I used to do something like that, but I won't now. I'm a tough girl. Wow. These are good. Creamed almond cookies. Homemade. Super easy, you guys. Like I said, 10-minute prep time. Six ingredients. So easy to make. You definitely got to try these. These are fabulous. Oh, my God. They are so good. I didn't imagine they were going to be that good. I knew they were going to be good, but I didn't know that good. Of course, a, pe a little piece broke off. When I was telling you they were still warm and I was trying to move it around, they broke up a little bit and I tried it. And it was good and it, you know, it was a little, just a little corner. It was good. But once I let these cool and got into the centers of these, because it was just a, an edge, got into the center of these. Oh my God, these are good. I can't wait for my husband to try these. My nephew, my brother, everybody's going to love them. Another fantastic treat that I'm bringing to you guys like I do Every week, I'd like to go sweet, salty, sweet, salty, sweet, salty. I'd like to do it that way with you guys. But definitely try out these creamed almond cookies. You're going to love them, especially if you are a cream cheese lover, like I said. Wow. Okay. Anyways, if you are new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button right there. Hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of these awesome videos and all the keto teachings that I do since I was taught professionally and I've had so much success. I want to help you. And if you need help, I link my email down in every box. I will definitely help you. If I don't get back to people right away, understand I'm a busy woman and I have a lot of people I'm helping a lot. I help a lot. I've helped thousands. So, just give me time and I will get back to you. And if you haven't heard from me in like three days, email me again. That means I didn't get it. I have a lot going on right now in my life. I told you guys this before. My dad, about a week and a half ago, my stepdad, had surgery on his foot. He had an ulcer or a, I can't remember, on his foot. And he had to have part of, his, part of the foot cut open and all of that. And my dad is back in the hospital again. Whatever was in his foot traveled up to his growing area. So I am asking for prayers, please. He's in the hospital. He had to have a lot of meat cut away from the inside of his leg. There was gangrene growing in there like fast. Within just days it grew and 
They said he could have had a heart attack, anything. So I'm just asking for prayers. There's just a lot going on. And that's why sometimes I can't get back to you guys right away because I'm dealing with a lot of family, you know, health issues with my, my stepdad right now. So if you guys could please pray for me. But as far as, you know, you guys emailing me, if I don't get back right away, that's why I've got some stuff going on with my brother Rob, just some different things going on. So just understand, you know, sometimes people do get busy, but I still do try to make my videos, get them out to you guys so that you guys can enjoy my videos and all of that. And, um, you know, just understand. But yes, email me. I would love to help you. Please share around my channel so I can grow. I want to help many more get their life back. If I don't get back to you, watch these videos. Watch my mukbangs. I give so much information. Look in my playlist. Under miscellaneous, too, I talk about my journey and all of that. I give a lot of information that way, too. But yes, I would love to help each and every one of you. If you don't understand keto, get set up on macros and all of that. So um, definitely email me. And like I said, please share my channel however you can. Share it. Keep it keto. Tell people. Let them come to me so I can grow, get bigger, and help the entire world get their life back. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Even if you have to try the cookies first and then shoot me a thumbs up. But you're going to love them. I hope all of you guys are doing well. I can't wait to see each and every one of you see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Everybody take care. God bless. And until next time, everybody always remember to what? Always remember to keep it keto. All right, here's the ingredients to these creamy almond cookies. It'll be almond flour, butter, a soft Philadelphia cream cheese, slivered almonds, stevia, and pure vanilla extract. You're going to preheat the oven to 325 and set it for 16 to 18 minutes when it's ready for the cookies to go in. You will need one and a half cups of almond flour, a fourth cup of the stevia, two ounces of cream cheese, a third cup of melted real butter, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half of cup of slivered almonds. Mix up your mixture and then roll out 12 balls and then flatten them down in your hand and set them on a greased cookie sheet and into the oven. After about 16 minutes, check them. If not, go a little longer. Once they're a little bit golden brown around the edges, they're ready to be taken out and then plate up. Like I said, it made 12 cookies at one and a half net carbs a piece, and these were delicious.